This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Before we get into using some of the more exciting aspects of using Carrera, I just want to cover some of the basics to ensure that your experience of using the program is as easy as possible. Don't worry, we'll get onto some of those more dazzling features soon enough. A Carrera document is called a scene and there are a number of different ways that we can open existing preset scenes or to create new scenes for use in your own images. The first time you open Carrera, this is the view of the screen that you get, with a blank document area in the middle and the scenes tab below with a number of different preset categories available. We can see the sky category and a number of different sky scenes that are available and all of these ship with the program. But it's not just sky scenes that are available, we've got landscapes, space scenes, indoor scenes and so on. And I'll let you browse through those at your own leisure. To open a scene, just double click on the small picture and here we've loaded the day scene of the indoor category and that's loaded up ready to be manipulated or rendered. But there are a number of different ways that we can open scenes. So I'm just going to close that down. We're going to have a look at some of those other methods which are within the file menu. I'm going to look in more detail at the new option in a moment, but then there's the open option which allows you to open scenes that you've saved previously, and it also allows you to import scenes from other formats, for example DAS Studio or Poser. The open preset will present you with the same kind of scenes that we've seen in the scenes tab, but it also will include scenes that you may have bought, for example from DAS 3D. We can see one of those there. I'm just going to go back and show you the new options. This is yet another way to access preset scenes, but there's also a landscapes wizard and empty scene that creates a new blank scene for your own projects. I'm just going to go through the landscape wizard. This is a really cool tool for creating starter scenes for a landscape scene, and it allows you to mix and match shapes of landscapes, the look or the shader for those landscapes, and different sky patterns together with render settings. So you can mix and match those different ones that's summarized in the area up here. And with these options checked, it means that changing the shape of the landscape won't change the other options. So we're just gonna have a look and you can see that it's rendering a small image of what your scene may look like. Here we're just changing different shapes for the landscape. Yeah, I quite like the look of that one. So we're gonna have a look at the shader options. And there you can see that you've got different vegetation options. You might want to go for a more rocky landscape look. It's supposed to be desert, but it looks a bit snowy to me. There you go, there's a desert. Or the Dream Island look. And we can select a different sky for that. Maybe a nice evening setting. A morning setting with a little low-lying fog or a nice bright blue sky. So you can very easily set up your own starter landscape scene with those options. There's also some render settings. Basically the further down the page the higher quality but the longer the render times will be. So we'll just leave those there for now. Click OK and there's our landscape scene ready for further editing or rendering. Just going to close that, just going to have a look at the last option, which is the empty scene. And there are three options here for small, medium and large. Small is very appropriate for, say, modelling individual objects. Medium is a good general choice of scene, producing, say, room size scenes with people. Large, if you're going to be doing a landscape scene, a cityscape scene or perhaps a large scale space scene, then that would be the option to go for. We'll just leave it on medium at the moment. Click empty scene and that creates a new blank scene ready to add some content to create your own image.